Some of these components really do feel like a privilege to show to you. And I think the Q chat message is one of those components. It's just fun to build. So let's go ahead and have a play around. Oh, but first, we're going to have to do a little bit of layout stuff. So let's say Q-card, because I want to make this look a little bit like something that would be on a mobile device. Q-card-section inside of that card. And this is where we'll actually show the content. Now, I also want to stay here that the style is equal to max dash width of 400 pixels. And then we'll also say class is equal to a column and then full width that. All right, and then if I add in here, column, by the way, if you don't know what I'm doing here, that's totally fine. It's not necessary to know for the uses of this video. But basically, I'm just setting it up so that we've got this nice sort of mobile looking section here. So let's go ahead and add our first message. Q-chat-message, and then we wanna have some text there, and this is actually going to be equal to an array, and I'll tell you why it's an array in a moment. So how about, hey, how you doing? Question mark, save it, and there we go, it shows up straight away. We can also add in here, sent, and that's just gonna switch it to the other side to show that this is the person that actually sent that message through. Pretty cool. Now, another thing we can do is, of course, add another message in there. And this one, we will get rid of sent. And then we can say, pretty good. Yourself. And then I'll add in another string here. I ate some bark today. Save that. And now notice that the first message now doesn't have this little arrow at the bottom of the message. So this is why we have an array here. It makes it really easy to display the message properly. This first one is not going to have that little arrow. And then the last message here is going to have that little arrow. So it makes the layout really, really nice. That's why we get an array here, or at least one of the reasons. So what else can we do? We can add in a name here. So the name for the first one is going to be Panda. That's the name of one of my chihuahuas. I also have a chihuahua called Lily. So let's go ahead and save that. And those names pop up in the right place, styled really, really nicely. We can also add a stamp in. So for example, if I say stamp is equal to seven minutes ago, once again, we get that standard stamp sitting in there and the styling is beautiful. And then we can add another stamp in here saying, for example, two minutes ago. And there we go. Oh, and you're going to love this. We can also add a label, q-chat-message. And then if I add in here a label equal to, then we can say, for example, these are the messages for yesterday. And check this out. We get this nice label saying, these are all the messages that happened yesterday. And another thing we can do is style these messages differently. So for example, let's just imagine we have a, another message in here. And I used to have a dog called Moe. So let's change the text for this message, and it's going to say, hang on, dogs can't talk. Save that, and there we go. It's showing up there. However, the styling is the same as Lily, so it's a little bit hard to differentiate between the two. Easy to fix. We can say the background color is equal to, let's make it like a dark purple color. But now the text is a little bit too dark, so let's change the text to text-color is equal to white. There you have it. That looks really, really nice. So one more thing I'll show you before we finish up is adding an avatar, which once again is just ridiculously simple. We can say avatar is equal to one of my favorite sites, pixum.photos slash, and then let's make this one 80 width and 80 height. I'm gonna copy that down here. And I'll change these values a little bit just so we end up with different photos for those different avatars. And then this one we can say, well, let's do 120 by 120. See if they end up different. And there you go. How unbelievably cool is that? I actually think this looks fantastic. And look at how long it took us to do this. This is just really, really nice. And you could build out a pretty fully featured chat application using Quasar. At least the UI itself would be pretty simple. All you'd have to do is the back end then, and you'd have something up and running. 
So I think this is an absolutely wonderful component, and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. See you in the next one.